Hello and welcome to Magma. Today we are going to do a short video and show you how to install, turn on, and verify Magma Expansion Box is working with your server. You'll find in the box the Magma 4 slot 1U chassis and rails for racking. Optional items will be a by 16 Molex cable that may come with or without your box. These are ordered extra at the time uh, the order is placed. Uh, most servers do not come with a PCI Express interconnect card. I believe the ultraviolet program has one designed into it. The cards that you're going to insert. Those cards may be an NVIDIA Quadro graphics card. Before we start putting this chassis in the rack, we'd like to go over some features that describe um, the RAS features of this chassis. I every fan in the chassis is sound. It's loud. You need to know this red button. If you hear an alarm, push the red button. That'll silence the alarm at any time. Solve your failure that you're still missing a fan, but it's still a lot better and replaced without turning the chassis off. The chassis never has to be turned off. If a power supply fails, you must remove the, the thumb screw and then you can pull it out. You can go get your new one and replace it. Remember, the alarm will sound. So if you don't like the sound of the alarm, you have to hit the red button to silence. The front of the chassis is where you apply the AC um, where the AC inlet lies to get power to the to have your power plug in. The chassis, once it's installed in the rack, can be carrier removed without powering down the chassis. This is where your PCI Express cards will reside. Uh, so remember, you can take this card carrier in and out with cards in it and the chassis fully powered. The reason for hardware to go bad push a button, turn off power to the slot, take the card out, replace it with another card without shutting down the chassis that may have other critical cards passing data at that time. Here's, here's some, a look at the inside of this chassis. Inside you'll see four PCI Express slots, redundant power, fans, SNMP module. I just wanted you all to be able to take a look at the guts of this thing. You can also install aux power connectors for your graphics cards that require lots of extra power. So there is a chance you may be taking the lid off to this chassis. Make sure you consult the manual. We've loaded it up with examples and tons of documentations so you don't have to watch this movie a lot. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate how to rack mount the chassis. The chassis comes with the rack slides already installed on the sides of the chassis with the brackets that are going to go inside of your uh, server cabinet. You're going to need a, uh, a Phillips screwdriver and an 11 It also comes with the necessary hardware to install it into the cabinet. So the first step is to remove the female part of the slide from the chassis. So you slide those off. Get your reliever here. Do the same thing on this one. You're going to remove these and attach them to the brackets before you put them into the server cabinet. So go ahead and stop. Okay, so after you remove the female uh, part of the slide from the chassis, you go ahead and install the uh, rack mounting brackets on it as shown. Then after you do this, you, you want to, uh, first of all, you want to make it loose so that you can adjust the slides to the, the width of your cabinet. Cut. <clears throat> okay, so we're pushing the chassis inside of the server cabinet now. Once you have it at this point, you would take thumb screws or any uh, 10 30 second screw, some cabinets are 8 30 second and use the center hole inside of the brackets to adhere the chassis to the cabinet. So as you can see, the, the chassis can come out. And then if you want to remove the chassis completely from the cabinet, you would have to uh, press up on the latch here on the left side, press down on the latch on the right side, and then you could remove the, the chassis from the cabinet. So the chassis comes out. There's about an inch or so of the chassis behind the upright rail here. You are able to remove the top without taking the chassis out of the cabinet uh, if you just un undo all of the screws on the top. So that's how you put the chassis in the server cabinet and we'll move on.
on to the next part now.